Hello, 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 and welcome to the Misfits podcast. Um, rated like someone liked it on Spotify. Thanks, Spotify user. Uh, um, uh, yeah, yeah, no, that's good. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Yeah, that was Thank good. You. Very Thank good. Ooh. Yeah, we don't need fits. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm going to be hosting the show today. Um, joining me here are my co host Toby on the telly. What's up? Uh, we got over here in the red shirt to the ro- uh, straight across from me. It's Zuckles. Hello, hello. And then we got Einar in the yellow shirt. What's going on? And then in the full black, we've got Swagger hey, Souls. How are we going? Yeah. And if you don't know uh, who the person doing the talking is, this is Chad or I'm anything retarded. to use. He's uh, replacing Fitz. Yeah. Fitz fell off. Fitz is in America still. And it, 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 he decided to come on the show and, and, and it should show, show Fitz how it's done. We're just auditioning to see if, you know, we can replace Fitz. Listen, don't put me on that level, okay? I'm just here to have fun. Everyone's going to start comparing me now. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We just... What is this? We just miss Fitz. Those well, are rolling, rolling papers. papers. Those are rolling papers. Okay. From, against humanity. Yeah, what what, about, what about exclusives? Oh, they were drugs. Yeah, we got pissed as on the last podcast, and uh, I munted everywhere at the end. Oh, that's yeah, yeah, right where you're yeah. sitting too. Oh, well, no, that's no, clean that's, now. that's where yeah, I was where sitting. We're totally <laughs> sitting currently. Yeah, it's clean now. Anyway, today mm. I want to talk about the Twitch leaks and how yeah. rich all streamers are and how poor everyone is that donate to them. Hell yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It kind of seems like all streamers are pretty poor. No, I mean, they look pretty rich according um, to that. I mean, if you're top 100. Hey, I, I, I don't know. They, they weren't that rich. They yeah, had a bit of money. But was it, what know. was the income leak? Because I didn't look fully into it. I was just like, ah, what do you XQ, mean, I just saw all I remember seeing was XQC $8 million. I'm like, man, oh, that makes me feel poor. I'm not going to look at this list anymore. Yeah, it was pretty much. Much. I mean, yeah. look, I mean, you know, it was like the top, the top 100 streamers were making close to like a million dollars. It, it was, you know, it, it was the, the the Twitch leak happened, and then it was like, you know, the site data was compromised. Like password hashes were leaked. Uh, they they found that the, the, the fucking Amazon is trying to make a stream competitor or, or Steam competitor. Yeah. Uh, you do, to actually like do and want to do this this big like VR chat kind of kind of clone, but but then it was you know everyone was like oh that's pretty important but they were like oh look at this fucking creator payouts so everyone hyper focused on creator payouts, uh, which is kind of ridiculous because like you can kind of assess how much money a streamer makes based off of their sub count. Yeah. I saw people complaining about it and I was like you know that everyone has sub counts right you can kind yeah, of see yeah. how much they're getting paid also I don't think those um those numbers included their streamer contracts either no it oh, did not, not at all no, it did, yeah. Not, yeah. It did not include their their contracts it did not it, it, the only thing that those numbers included were ads and subs. Subs. I don't even think they took into uh, account bets or cheers or anything like that. I th- I th- I, I'm kind of mad at viewers because they're all getting mad. They're like, man, look at these millionaires. But they're like the ones you want to get mad at, the ones that act poor. And I'm not going to call any of them out. But there are some out streamers that make a lot of money. They still have their like sub goal and their donation goal and all that bullshit. And I'm just like... I can see why they're upset at people for that because they're acting like, oh man, I'm so poor, blah, yeah. blah, blah. But, but most streamers are pretty open that they make money. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mid- streamers like Mizkiff and fucking like XQC and all that are like, I'm rich. You're all like, they, they gloat about being rich. Yeah. Mizkiff pulls out his fucking collectibles and goes, look at my $20,000 graded copy of Mar. Like, yeah. <laughs> if you give pe- yeah. money to people, uh, even after they've shown you that, you're kind of disabled. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of don't deserve the money if you're like, no, I mean, you're a millionaire, please take my $5 donation. Well, you know, a lot of people are like, why the fuck are these streamers making, you know, millions in it's two because years? Because you were giving it to them. Well, you know, not even specifically that. I mean, when you just think about, like, if you're streaming and you have 100,000 people watching your stream, like, that's 100,000 eyeballs that are that are watching. That's, you know, that's potential it's sponsor money. It's 200,000 eyeballs. It's true, it's true. It's 100,000 pairs mm. of eyeballs. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> big brain. Big Very brain. big yeah. brain. And basically, you know, from there, I mean, advertisers see that. It's like, oh, well, you know, we pay a shit ton of money for a sponsorship right in front of, like, 100,000 people. Mm. And of the 100,000 people, like, say, 5% donate, like, over $10, like, mo- you know, a good majority of them sub because they want to watch the stream. They think it's entertaining and they don't want to have ads run. So it makes sense. Like, it's just people make that much money because it's how much, like, an audience thinks that the entertainment is worth 
not it's not even just the audience it's also people that come up with like sponsor streams and they want to pay them like tens of thousands of dollars to play their game on oh, stream right, like, hundreds, yeah. hundreds of yeah I, yeah I just didn't li- I li- didn't like going on Twitter and seeing everyone complaining like man they're yeah. all so rich fuck them like you're gonna hate on someone for being successful well like, are, you, are you gonna hate on basketball players or athletes yeah no whenever or, you hear about athletes you know, getting paid they're like fuck that's so cool good for them yeah but, but they make the argument like oh these athletes have trained for years they're in peak physical condition they're superhuman they're you know they they they've clearly worked and made sacrifice but you, you can make the same argument for a streamer you know a streamer that streams eight to 12 hours a day for a week you know like five days six days a week well the biggest streamer like the, in terms of time streamed at the moment is train wrecks and he does like 30 hour plus streams and then takes a sleep break and then comes back and does another 30 hours and just he keeps doing it. Yeah. I don't, know yeah. If you, I don't know if you saw on Twitter today, he posted, he's like, uh, he's, he was t- talking about how he lies a lot of weight and how his eyes are really dark. He looks like a yeah, skeleton. Yeah, because he locked himself into a fucking <laughs> a room fucking and, and, and gambled and did 36 hour <laughs> yes. like stream straight. Yeah, no wonder he looks like a fucking decaying <laughs> Train wrecks, I, you know, that guy's okay, but man, like his dopamine must be absolutely ruined. His reward center for through gambling must yeah. just be fucking like like wrung out like I, a rag. I watch his stream a bit like, you know, if you're watching gambling, you like you want the climax of whether they'll win here big or lose at all. Like yeah. it's like yeah, it's funny if they lose. Oh, it's fucking hectic if they win heaps. I was watching, and then he like lost. He went from like five hundred thousand to zero, and then he just like he's like, <laughs> I was like waiting for this reaction, and he's like, all right, I'm gonna chuck another five hundred thousand. I'm like, what the fuck, guys? He's obviously yeah. getting paid to do those well, streams, sure. but sure. it seems like he's gambling all the money he's getting paid straight onto the website. Well, yes, <laughs> because it's content, and that's why he has so many viewers, and that's yeah, why he does exactly. long streams. It's a pretty smart way to make content because, like, gambling itself, like, as a player is extremely addictive. And by watching gambling, you're not actually doing the damage to yourself, but you're getting that hit, hit of dopamine. Oh, no, every, it's not. It's, no, no, it's spin. not the same. Because when I watch Trainwrecks gamble and I see that feature, I immediately hit up people I punt with. I'm like, we're going on... <laughs> Yeah, and we are putting twenty grand down on this fucking game that I'm we're watching. Have, we're gonna have play. to. We're gonna have to bleep that. <laughs> the, the, I, you don't want to fucking have the. You know. Oh, okay. Yeah. The, the actual bleep website. The website. Yeah. But I immediately, I immediately, if I wanted, I'm like, bro, it, it's not the same. Yeah. I'm going on to punt too. I totally get what you're saying, though. I think that for a lot of the viewers, it is like that, where they just they watch it, and that is the dopamine that they want. But yeah, there's people like yeah. us who I watch someone streaming uh, fucking slots, and all I want to do is play slots. Well, I don't even see a, a, a single fucking problem with it. Why are people so up in arms about about all this gambling stuff? Oh, it's because fucking... It's just another argument of people. The <laughs> internet, when they see someone doing well in life, is their immediate reaction is to hate. And I used to be like that when I was younger. So I completely understand. But their immediate reaction is like, this person is successful. He's got a nice... my The dream job, Twitch, like to, to youth and people young, their dream job yeah. is to be a YouTuber mm. or a streamer. Because in their head, they're like, oh, it's so easy. When right. it's not... And they just see that person, he's like, he's making heaps of money, he's getting lots of views, he's doing this dream job, and he's like, all he does is press play and gamble all day. I'm like, you know how fucking exhausting that is to constantly be on camera 24 hours a day being like, don't say this, don't say that. I don't want to get, like, there's so many things that you want to say, and you're like, I can't say that because it's a bit too political. Like, it's. Yeah, I mean, there's the, like, I feel like gambling streamers are like a subset, a fairly new subset. Um, they haven't really like been full force up until like the last eight, nine months or or whatever. Mm. But even like preceding that, like, you know, uh, creators like XQC or, or Pokemon or, uh, you know, Summit or Shroud, like they're, they're streaming for, for ages. They're usually really skilled. Oh, they're usually yeah. really entertaining. They're engaging. New and World just came out and Shroud's pumping out 14 hour days back to back. Yeah. And even the other day he was like saying on his, he's like, Man, I'm so worn out, but I like I have to keep going. It's also this me- like this it's mentality taxing. in the back of your head, like a, if I'm not gonna do it, then the viewers are gonna go somewhere else as well. Well, so, a, you know, that's the thing with with Twitch as it stands now. If you're a streamer on Twitch, you're on a contract, you have hours to do it. You know, you you no longer have this freedom of streaming what you want when you want. Mm. It's about it's well, not a hobby anymore. It's it's what do I do next? I need to stream. I need to get my hours in, and it becomes this rat race. It's a new rat race. It's and, it's basically it, like the equivalent of twenty years ago, thirty years ago. People were sitting in cubicles, typing on the computer for fucking twelve hours a day and going home. Yeah, it's so like a job. 
It's yeah, pretty, it's yeah, a, it turns, but the thing is, like in their head, these the people watching are like, ah, oh, it's the hobby and it's turned into their job. I'm like, yeah, it's turned into a job. Like yeah. a hobby is something you want to do. But there were some days where I didn't want to fucking pr- go lie. There's some days yeah. where I don't really feel like filming. And you know what? I, I fucking no, I still got to because it's, it's a job. It's you know because you have responsibility. Mm. Yeah. You have like an obligation not only to yourself but you know to your team, to your sponsors, to your editors, to yourself, yeah, you know, well, I, to we, your viewers. All the, we got employees and like we can't just say to our employees like, sorry, I don't want to do it today. You can stay home. Like, you know, and if you do do that, you're still going to fucking pay them. Exactly. Which means what's the point of taking that day off because you're just losing money anyway. Now I'm curious what you think, you know, because we went over the gambling, the gambling streams have been, I just wanted to touch on it one more time. When it comes to creators that get sponsored, and I'm not going to say any names, but when it comes to creators who are sponsored and it's like alleged that like they don't even wage any of their own money, but they're practically saying this is high stakes gambling. Mm. This is like, this is my money. Like, you know, you think that's misleading? Do you think that's like if a bad thing? If you're saying it's your money, that's fucked up. Mm. Well, yeah. at the same time, it, like saying it's your own money, it, it, if you say it's your own money, it's like, I don't think it's that fucked up because one, someone else is going to do it regardless. Two, you need to portray to the viewers, which a streamer who we're just talking about does it really well, portrays mm. to the viewers like, this is not get the ideal gambling. Like, he lets people know, like, this sucks. Like, you know, don't do it. You're going to go down a rabbit hole, but I can afford to do this. I am getting paid by them to do this. This is how I do it. If they're not going to do it, someone else is going to fucking do it. You, you're telling me that you complaining about one particular streamer doing it, it means all streamers are going to stop doing it? No, because if that you bully that person enough to stop doing it, some other old Joe Blow is going to come in because there's an audience for it. There's people that watch it. It's not like and they're probably not going to be as honest as well. Be yeah. Like, oh, this is fucking sick, bro. You yeah. Know? You want you want someone doing it that you trust and rely on. I feel like the person in place is doing that, and the people that I've watched are, are honest people about it. I don't have mm-hmm. a problem with people gambling on Twitch. Uh, it's just if someone is uh, like using like site credits mm. that they are given yeah and, and claiming that it's their it. own money and they're not allowed to withdraw it or anything yeah i feel like that's dishonest uh to an extent i mean if there are also circumstances though in which like I, i've had gambling sponsorships in the past where they've given me site credits and it's like that's those site credits aren't my money mm. however at the end of the stream whatever i'm left with i'm allowed to withdraw and mm. to that at that point it feels like it's my money yeah i, I feel like there's a lot of uh like different circumstances but there's also a weird like lo- like situation you put in with that as well when the when the brands come to you and they say to you like they tell you that but you're like oh can I tell my viewers and like no you cannot tell your viewers yeah so it's it's weird but I feel like the person people that are doing it now it's mm. fine because they're very honest and it is still high stakes gambling I with, would say with some, or without their money I would, it, I would say some are honest yeah it's with the, it with high stakes gambling even if it is or isn't their money it still replicates the idea of high stakes gambling whether right. you're acting yeah. or not that is still feel, how everything would happen i feel as though it it is it is different now that it isn't just an online casino where you put your credit card details in here's a thousand dollars boom i go and then you know i have to prove my identity before i can even deposit yeah. i need to send them id oh and, getting and, onto and a gambling websites it, now is for it to hard. be for it to be regulated but the thing is, there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, gambling sites out now that are that are being featured that no longer rely on fiat fiat currency. It's all decentralized. Crypto. It's all crypto. So what stops a you know some savvy fifteen or sixteen year old from being like, yeah, you know, like I'll fucking you know, well, that's, use that's, my. That's where the audience should come in and be like what's this website promoting do they make you check id do they make you check the credit card because gambling websites are used before i withdrew any cash or put any cash in they're like we need id yeah we need a a, a letter from your mailbox that has your address on it that matches yes. your id we need a photo of the credit card you used we need like all your information which a 15 year old can't fucking provide no but there are a lot of websites that get promoted or or on stream or just in youtube videos that are very popular by creators and a lot of these websites don't don't have the checks uh, to to facilitate that unless there's a lot of money going in or out. But, it, you know, it doesn't stop, like, some kid from being like, yeah, I'm just going to find 500 that's, bucks. That's when people should step in and be like, uh, this website's a bit sketchy. Why are you promoting it? Like, these, yeah. these are the check marks. But the thing is, do you think some people will excuse it because just another person will do it? You know, like you know, if they if they no, stop doing it, you will shouldn't another excuse person it then. go for the, it? The, the people should be going after the website, and then the people promoting it. Like at that point, but at that 
what I've seen from people that are doing it, they're just like, you're gambling, but it's all legitimate gambling. I mean, I don't know what the legitimacy of fucking all the online. You just go. You got to go in it knowing what, if they're rigged or not. You just got to go in there with the expectation in your head. You got to make sure that the person promoting it tells you like. I don't fucking know how online gambling works. I'm pressing yeah. buttons. Like, I don't know the legits. I don't know the stats. I don't know if they're ringing on their end. Like, you should just not fucking do it. And that's what a lot of people that are doing. Because either way, there's going to be an audience for it. There's going to be people that watch it. I fucking watch it. I can sit down and watch people do that all day. Yeah, but, but you, you, you also oh, w- yeah, were but, a gambling addict. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it was. Well, well you, you, <laughs> I mean, you, I mean, you were a gambling addict. That's Twitter talk. With, with all the NFTs you have, you certainly, <laughs> certainly right. relapsed. Next topic of interest, <laughs> <laughs> NFTs. Oh. Hey, shut up, you're all poor. Okay? <laughs> this, motherfucker, <laughs> this motherfucker messages me. He's like, top 100 streamer, this, yeah. this guy, fuck Chad, he messages this fucking crazy, wacky character. He messages me. He goes, hey, you want to buy a brick? I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, like Coke or or?" <laughs> He's like, no, like a brick. So an NFT like an brick. NFT brick. I'm like, why the fuck? Like, how much? He's like, oh, like 20 grand. Like, Are you fucking crazy? He's like, I'll teach you. Dude, I'll teach you how to do it. I'll teach you how to do it. I'm like, I, maybe some other time. That was like a joke because me and a bunch of friends were buying bricks when they were really cheap. Explain I, what a brick is. A brick to, is an NFT brick. People. Slap ball one. It's an PN. I put my brick here. I've got brick 396 on 95. It's a chessboard brick. I bought it for like 10 G's, but it was funny. But uh, we were we uh-huh. were we were buying bricks as a joke. And we're like, we have brick NFTs. We weren't even talking about it on Twitter. And then all of a sudden, people, other people started buying bricks because it was all in open sea. And then bricks were getting really expensive. And we've got a fuck ton of bricks. And we're like, oh my fucking god, I got a shit ton of bricks. I'm like, I sold all my bricks when they went up in price. I sold them all. <laughs> and then I had no bricks. And I was really sad because they kept going up in price. <laughs> so I bought the most expensive brick I could. And it was the dumbest thing I've ever done because the bricks have gone down like four times the price since I bought it. Ooh. But I still got it and that's all that matters. Right. Don't buy a brick now that I own one. I can't tell you to buy one because I have one. <laughs> I have three. I have three now and I bought them all at a loss. So I lost money on bricks, so, but it was funny. So what do, you, what do you think about the NFT space now? When did you get into it? What, what, what's the appeal? Mr. Fresh Asian got me into NFTs. Mm. And he... Okay, no, no. Face Banks... He's the, he's the Asian guy, Yeah, right? yeah. Uh, that used to be in Click. Oh, right. Yeah. Used to be? Yeah. And he he got me into... um. Well, not in the clip, but he was part of Click. I don't fucking know. I don't know the law, but he was like <laughs> with them. He's friends with all them. Yeah, yeah, I got you. And uh, sorry, originally it was Phase Banks, and Phase Banks comes to me. He's like, "You have to buy this punk," and he's like, "Oh, it's like ten <laughs> grand." I'm like, ten grand for a pixel punk? You're all Wait, retarded." So explain crypto punk for the normal people in the crypto audience. Crypto punk is like uh, an NFT created, which is a randomly generated pixel car. I think they are randomly generated. I'm not too Procedurally, sure. Procedurally, right? I don't know how fuck they draw assets for it. So they draw a hat, a skin color, and then it randomly generates all the assets right. to it. Yeah. And there was so many punks made. He's like, buy punk. They were really old and NFTs are about to take they off. They were made They'll... in like 2007 or something, right? I don't know how something old they crazy are. Old. They might be retarded old, but I don't know exactly how old they are. But Banks was like, you have to buy one. I was like, shut up. That's dumb. That's so stupid. If I bought one, I'd have like 400 grand a day. But I didn't. And then, you know, a few months pass. They're worth a lot. I'm looking at this punk I could have owned crying. It's got a little fedora. That was the one I almost bought. <laughs> and Fresh hits me up. He goes, you have to buy this ape, which is a bought ape. And it was like, it's going to cost you 10 Ethereum, which was like, at the time, was about $25,000. And I was like, that's a right, chump change. Yeah, no, that was, that's a lot of money. Okay. Not a chump change. Good, I'm, not, good. No, I'm just I, joking. I'm just joking. I'd be rich if I sold the NFTs, but I'm not. Yeah, you just keep them all. I keep they gather, them all. They gather, they gather, I'm yeah. collecting. <laughs> they, gather, they, they, they gather virtual dust. They may crash into oblivion at one point, but, you know, I, I'll still have them. That's all. I only care about having them. And Twitter is now implementing a thing where you can put your NFT as your profile pic and has a little verified tick next to it. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, so, really? Yeah. I think that's cool. Yeah. I, I think that's great. Oh, man. I should get some kind of So you're the verified NFT. owner of it. Yeah. That's so... It. I, so I'll never sell them all because I want to change it every week to my favorite NFT. And I bought this ape and I, I, and I stopped and I just forgot about it. Like, I didn't give a shit. Like, mm. I bought it. I, I bought it. I, I called up my account and I was like, how do I get this much money in crypto? Mm. Did it all. I said a lot. I was like, I have it. Stop harassing me now. I'm sick of all my friends telling me to buy NFTs. I can always say I've got an NFT now. Forgot about it. Two, three months passes. Fresh calls me and he goes, do you still have your ape? Someone put an offer on it. I was like, Oh, for how much? He's like, oh, 150 grand. I'm like, 
Oh, okay. Um, I'll sell it. Forgot my login for open uh, for <laughs> MetaMask. <laughs> Forgot my, lo- forgot my MetaMask login because I just made it, bought it, and like, and like, I don't know why, I just forgot my login password for some reason. So for a week, I was convinced, like, it's gone. It's lost. It's gone. It's like that guy who had like, like thousands of Bitcoin on a hard drive that he, oh, threw, yeah, that he that- threw away in a, in a, in a, in a garbage dump. And for years, for years, he, he paid the, the owner of the garbage dump. Don't look for it. And he sifted himself on his hands and knees through garbage trying to find this, this needle in a haystack. Did you ever find it? Probably died. He's probably still, probably oh, still looking at this probably day. Probably still that's probably his day to day, day to day, rolling through the fucking. Or, or it's like the guy who has like hundreds of Bitcoin and it's like he forgot the password and he had like two out of three. So he's down to like his last attempt before he's locked out of it forever. <laughs> oh no, he's like trying to remember. I just forgot. I just like, I was like, I'm fucking stupid. I wrote the password down though because it was just like a random password because he's like, you have to make the password completely random. And I wrote it down. I have no idea where I put the piece of paper that I wrote it down. I was so sad. I was so sad. And for a week, I was just like stewing on it. I was like, I fucking hate NFTs. Did you look through your whole house? No, I, I looked <laughs> through my whole house. And then, I fi- and then I found it one day. I was sorting through Pokemon cards. I'd put the piece of paper in the rubbish, in a big rubbish pile with all my Pokemon <laughs> cards. And I was cleaning out all the rubbish. Like, just throw, uh, putting it in garbage bags to uh, take it down in the garbage. It's a $150,000 piece of shit, piece and, of trash <laughs> you're about to throw away. And I picked it up, and I picked up a box, and I swear to God, it was like, fo- you know that Forrest Gump where the fucking feather floats in front yeah. of his life? It was like that. I picked up this piece of rubbish, and in front of me was this piece of paper. <laughs> and, I was like, and I was like... No way. You immediately grabbed it. <laughs> I, I grabbed, grabbed it. I was like, <laughs> I typed it in. I'm logged in. I'm like, yes. I'm, so, I'm celebrating. I'm cheering in the middle of my house. Like just jumping around. I'm like, yeah, I found a piece of paper. Immediately backed up everything. Bought a ledger. Like did all the security stuff I should have done. And then you found out that uh, the board apes crashed. Yes. Actually, yes. The Wait, board really? apes crashed. Yeah. So, they, went from, so- they went from like 40 Ethereum back down to 25. So there was still a profit on it. But, but- I, didn't, I didn't sell it. Oh, so you didn't sell it either way? Yeah, well, I still have it now, and it's worth about a 40 Ethereum. So how much is 40 Ethereum? Um, one Ethereum is about 3.6K. What's that times? Is that AU? US. US. Blue, US. do the math. Like 120,000. Uh, probably. 195,000 AUD. $195,000 APE. And then I... Jesus. Still have that APE. I never sold it. And then I put... a. All my all my crypto that I had because I bought a bunch how, of how, how much how much would it need to be for you to sell it? Ten million. <laughs> what gang? Good luck, huh? Well, I, I, I like Ten it. Ten million I'm, dollars. I, it's like you wouldn't do it just, just, just for one mil. Like five hundred k or five hundred k. I don't want to sell it. I don't, I don't want to. I never want to sell it. I, well, I, can I see this ape? Show me, bro. Yeah. yeah. Show we'll, me this we'll, ape. We'll, we'll don't, put, screen, don't screenshot we'll put, it. We'll that's put the, we'll put yeah, the don't ape. screenshot. It's fucking normies. <laughs> oh, <laughs> screenshot it so. Bro, let me see if this we'll, ape's we'll put the um, We'll put the ape on, on screen Why, once he pulls it Just put it, it on up. screen because I don't know what my open C is because yeah, it's, it's completely right different right now. There. It's that, right here. That, that, it Dude, that looks pretty worth. It's not. It's a zombie ape. It's not worth It's not worth as much as it is. But. It's, it's what people attribute, you know, how much they think it's worth is how much it's worth. It, it's like what, a Twitch it's the streamer. Same, it's the same thing as buying, like, uh, a, 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 like it's like Pokemon cards. The demand, it's, yeah. a, it's a supply. It's what people are willing to pay for it. But I'll never sell it because it's like I've never sold a Pokemon card and I've collected Pokemon cards for years now. Mm. I've never, I never want to sell an NFT because I'm collecting NFTs. I put a heap more money into it. If I sold them NFTs now, I don't know how much money I'd have. But I just like collecting them. And every now and then I will sell an NFT, but I will only sell one so I can get more. And I've been doing that for months now during the pandemic. That's all I've been Bro, doing. Bro, you're giving me the NFT itch now. I want to buy an NFT. I'll, I'll get you all onto some good yeah. NFTs. Yeah. 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 No, I won't, I won't tell you what to buy, but I'll show you what I no, have. No, just tell me what to buy. No, no, because like... I don't want to. Then he would just buy it. Here's the problem. No, you tell me me what to buy, and then if it goes wrong, you can blame you. Yeah, exactly. Here's the problem with that because there's so many people in the space that have used crypto because it's it's such a new thing. People have used to scam people. I've been scammed on like on stuff as well. Really? Yeah. People get scammed, and like you had all that fucking those retards from Phase that were like scamming with that kid coin crap. Oh, the save the kids token. Yeah. So and me because of one offs like that, everyone, all these people are all like. 
It's all a scam now. All of it. They all rule it into a scam. You're well, like, that's like the individual crypto. That's the whole rug pull like scam. Yeah, yeah. But I think NFTs are a bit different, aren't they? Because you, you they have can to be rub, minted, there's can, some kind of like baseline that's the, attributed to the to the mint, and it usually is based around like the community, the people that are around there it. There can be rug pulls. So. If you if you had a bunch of friends with a bunch of crypto, you could uh, get an entire drop of NFTs and trade them amongst each other for huge amounts of money. Make people think that the they're value of this. That's all, well, yeah. Right. Well, that's well, that's why. As so well, it's insider trading. Yeah, but yeah. now with everything there is, you can see oh, all, while, all while it's connected. So well, now, it, you, now it take, it's, uh, it, people can investigate it. Yeah, so it it take a while if if there's enough chains and link, but you can eventually figure out who it belongs yeah. to. And um, one person that's been doing that's Coffeezilla. Yeah, like, Coffeezilla yeah. and uh, some ordinary gamers. Yeah. Uh, Mudahar. Yeah, those so two that, are legends. I'm so watching when, the recent thing right now. To figure out where the money came from and where it went, they literally have to watch each transaction from each wallet and just track it down until they find either <laughs> another wallet that it. It's just it's a shit show. But like people can figure it out. Re really autistic people that have time on their hands can figure yeah, it out. Yeah, or people that are like really wired. See, Coffeezilla probably drinks coffee. Yeah. Right. Or but does drugs. He <laughs> would probably be a lot a lot better off looking yeah. at all of this stuff if he had. Gamer subs. Oh yeah. yeah! Woo! Can I have one actually? If Coffeezilla, if Coffeezilla was Maybe drinking not. on on this gamer sub shit, I I think he'd probably be, be try, he'd probably be busting dry. scams yeah. left and right. I haven't tried the waifu candy yet. Can I get a shaker with some water? I actually haven't oh. tried it yet. No, no, <laughs> dude. <laughs> what is that? That is okay. Look, this is an it's experiment. We left. We this is been. That's Locked. This has been on the set for like I think two months, uh, and so you know, go figure. When you leave like a drink alone for 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 weeks, it, you it, put, it what did you put in it? Nothing. It's just mold. Ew! Disgusting. <laughs> yeah. It's like a lava lamp, man. You guys are fucked up. You know that. It's, There's fruit it's, flies it's in the air. It's all swagger. <laughs> swagger just really. Yeah, wants I think. To I think that. it's a science experiment. I want to see. I want to see if it comes to life. Yeah, and it can do my be, ad reads for me. Like, it's gonna be that like the fucking movie blob. It's gonna yeah. be that Simpsons <laughs> episode where Lisa makes fucking artificial life in yeah. a <laughs> test tube. But Gamer Sops is what Chad, a powdered energy drink that, that's filled with nootropics, caffeine. And it's keto and sugar. And it's a, keto um, friendly and sugar free. There's a caffeine free one now, which is there just is. the vitamin one. That's what I I stopped taking as much caffeine as I can because it fucks up my sleeping schedule. But they got the uh, the vitamin one now, so it's yeah. just like powdered Gatorade. Yeah. So, so I I drink that when uh, I want like a drink that is like sweet but doesn't exactly. you know, gonna, like fuck me up. No but soda. Yeah, you could you get so much out of it and you know, if it's late at night and I don't want to have an actual gamer subs, then it's so nice to have a caffeine. Exactly. Free so caffeine just, free is now a new over. option. I just take it when I'm hungover. I put like fucking four scoops and then I go take a huge shit. <laughs> <laughs> All those vitamins yeah. they make it poop. They make I it just poop water. Right there. Fuck yeah. is my water. Where's my shaker? <laughs> But yeah, if, if you yourself, as a viewer, want to, uh, you know, wake up in the morning, drink a Gamersubs, and fully <laughs> evacuate your bowels, then go to Gamersubs.gg and use code MISFITS for 10% off. Optionally, you can use code... Your code, Chad. Your, your, your code. Cold ones! Cold ones! <laughs> Sorry. Cold ones. I had a moment. I you can also moment. use that, but use Misfits. I use Gold Gold. Give gold me money shit. so I can buy more NFTs, please. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I can talk about NFTs all day, but like the way I kind of pitch it to people that don't have them and I explain it is they've been around for years. Your CSGO skins. Yeah. yeah. Your in-game items. And I feel like the future to NFTs is all in NFT games. Because there's so many games I've played in my life that are still popular today. Like, I used to play League of Legends. I spent thousands of dollars on League of Legends. And if no, I... Yeah, if I have I, every skin in the game. Really? Do you mean like a skin, like a card, like like an <laughs> NFT? You have an addiction. I don't know. Yeah, see, I'm into, I, I love collecting shit. Yeah, see, it's the same thing. Yeah. And I, like, I, could, I like collecting money. <laughs> well, with NFTs, I lose a lot of them. Well, listen, money doesn't make you happy, but NFTs might. <laughs> Oh, they might. Maybe I should just give it a try. Yeah, do it. Do yeah. it. The way, let me explain it. Like, they've been around for years. NFTs have technically been around for years in games. Like, yes. But 
But if you own the actual digital asset to that skin and it wasn't restricted, it own, it's owned by right. All those skins are owned by right. You could own those skins though and be like, I don't really like that skin anymore. And you could sell it to someone. You could have well, a rare skin from 10 years ago and sell it to someone. Do you mean like as an NFT, not the skin in the game? Well, the skin in the game can be an NFT where you transfer it to someone else's game account. And they can well, use it. Oh, that makes okay. sense. I would think, you know, this, this kind of leads back to, to what I touched on with, with the Twitch leaks because when they, when, when they exposed you know the, the whole source code to the site and all of that, they found this thing, I think they're calling it Vapor or something, is the Steam competitor, and then they're coming out with a thing apparently called like va Vapor, Vapor, Vapor World, I think is what it's called. But the idea, I think, is that it's this, they, they think it's a VR chat clone. Mm. What that makes me think is that Amazon and Facebook are neck and neck right now to, uh, to, to secure the metaverse. They want to be the first person to break out the metaverse. Do you understand the idea of what that well, is? Well, there's, there's also a lot of big companies already before Facebook and all that have already broken into it. There's a game called Sandbox, and it's a, it's a massive... Uh, metaverse where there's different games on it. There's a Walking Dead game. That's that's uh, S amp ampersand box, right? Yeah, yeah. That's made by uh, by Gary Newman uh, Face Punch yeah, Studios. Yeah. The same guys that made Gary's Mind and Rust. Yeah, exactly. And the idea is they have 10, 20, they have hundreds of games in it where all the skins can be transferred to other games. Like if you have a skin in this game, you also have it in this game. Exactly, yeah. So but, that, that's the idea is they but, want to put all the games on one big fucking thing. But I'm thinking, you know, the, the first person that, or the first company rather, that comes out with a platform, you know, just give that over there, uh, that comes out with a platform that can be the widespread adopted standard for, you know, what they call the metaverse, which is essentially just a virtual world uh, where you know you can you can get a, a you can buy a virtual house. I think Second Life, but bigger. A mm -hmm. You get a virtual house, which is its own NFT. Well, I, you own I, that. I already bought to you. some virtual plots of land in a game that's coming out. It's made by a guy called Lupify, who's been in the space for ages. He made a game called Treeverse, and I minted like ten of them because I like the idea. It's like a it's like a Habo RuneScape thing. Right, that's cool. And I was like, oh, that's really cool. And I, I bought them. I didn't think about them, and now they're worth fuck tons because people like the game and like it's out there. And I can just I don't want to if I don't like the game, I don't want to play it. I can just sell my fucking plots to someone. And be like, if you like the game so much, yeah, take mine. Yeah, give me money. <laughs> but that's you know that's that's the thing going forward. I think you know we're going to start trending in the next five to ten years towards. A virtual environment where you can actually, you know, you get a virtual house, you could put your virtual NFTs up in, in virtual frames and invite your people over to flex with your virtual house. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's crazy. Well, that was another game. Do you remember Second Life? Yeah, you said Second Life. Of course, Life. Second Life. That was like another thing where they had real money. Yeah. Everything was real money. Another yeah. thing that I can kind of put on par with it is um, Magic a Gathering. Yeah. Because it's the same thing. You, you, you can buy p packs and decks, but you can just sell your cards. Remember when Diablo had the... Um, the way the in-game like currency we could just buy stuff for real money it's the yeah. same thing but the, with the metaverse it's all like just centralized onto one specific currency which would be crypto yeah it'd probably be crypto based it'd be a ethereum solana wanted to do some as well it could probably be solana solana mm. could have a have a shine at it yeah so it's it's all new and the only people that get angry at it with they're like man it's a scam it's the people that didn't buy it and they've realized how big it's gotten and they think it's too late now and they're like man crypto's a scam because i didn't buy it fucking six months ago when everyone else did and it's so small there's only like a million people that trade nfts now how many people are there in the world um, billions yeah eight to ten billion yeah so like a million people isn't a lot but like yeah. they, they look at it they all they do is they look at the big stuff like the apes and the punks and they go this is way too expensive but this stuff that you can buy that's 50 yeah. to 100 bucks i i i all the stuff i have is super cheap and it's just because the other day i decided i was going to buy some Went out, bought some shit that I just thought looked cool. There's one thing I bought ages ago, like six months ago when I just got into it because I was just buying stuff I liked. I bought a Pixel Wizard, a one-of-one one Pixel Wizard. There's a th thousand of them made. I got a one-of-one, one, a very unique one. I bought it for like 400 bucks because I was like, I like this. Didn't think about it. Checked like today. I, I logged in. There was like a three Ethereum offer on it because it blew up. Like people liked them. I was like... I held on to oh, it. I, I'm getting a fucking NFT, bro. <laughs> yeah, okay, just uh, buy it. Just uh, buy it. Like, just do it. Just, just get in. Tip your toes, and I'm not going to tell you what to buy. Buy what you like. Just uh, buy, buy what you fucking like. Go on, go on, open, see. Fucking, you like something? Fucking buy it. Buy a stoner elephant, like I did.
Stoner <laughs> elephant. There's a lot of fucking, and the most popular ones are the random generated ones where they yeah. give them all random assets. Yeah, well, it's because it determines rarity. And when you mint it, you don't know what you're getting until you have mm. it. So you pay for the mint, right? Yeah, I bought this one. Yeah, it looks like, like me. you. Yeah, it looks like me because I started buying cool cats because I was like, oh, that one looks like me. So anything that looks like me, I buy it. One last thing, I'll get off the NFT thing. One last thing, one other big company, Habo, just got into it as well. Yeah, yeah well, we were that. looking at your NFTs uh, before the show, and we saw that you have the Habo ones. Wait, who found my wallet? I did. Blue. Oh, you did. Yeah. Oh, the, you can bring up my fucking ape and show yeah, them on the bring, projector. Yeah, you can bring up because I don't know what should my. We, should I don't we, know should we just display all of your NFTs? Yeah, just bring it, uh, Yeah, bring them all up. It's public it's anyway. Like one of those auction shows, where you just like list the products off. Yeah, well, I just, I just, I just bought a fuck ton. So, so what was this other thing you bought? I bought Habo because Habo. Yeah, the Habo yeah, stuff. I, I bought a Habo that looks like me, which was like a one of twelve. Like I bought a shit ton of them. Yeah, I think I own. Yeah, yeah like, here we uh, are. So this is all. This so is this all. This was an airdrop. This is a scam. Some airdrops. Uh, this was Cool Cat collabs. This was another scam. Cool Cat collab with Time magazines. Rare Pepe's. I got. A, there's a massive story on Pepe's. There's another one of my cats. Cool cans being gone. On ones, Pepe's, Pepe Steve Jobs. I'm selling this one. That You're one. selling Pepe Jobs? Yeah. Oh, well, for everybody out there listening, if you want a really stupid, shitty image of Steve Jobs with Pepe the Frog over his fucking face, <laughs> so how much you could buy, you could buy for? it for 20F, which like, is like 80K. 80K? You want an $80,000 oh, picture? A story, there's a story behind the Pepe. Is that how much they're worth now? Or is nah, that... that's just what I put them on. There's, oh. a, there's one of my bricks. Oh, see, I bought this for one Ethereum. They're worth like 10 now on the floor. I bought one of those because I was like, it looks like me with a top bun, with the, with the little yeah. button on. So I bought that. Sup, Ducks, hey, I bought. There's, the there's my ape. It's cool. Damn. This stu just stuff I bought. I like these. This is for a game as well, so I bought them. There's my brick. That's my yeah, prize. That's, your brick. that's my prize possession right there. 460. That's my baby. That's <laughs> my got, fucking you got baby. another brick, which is... 360. Yeah, and there's yeah. the Habo. Oh, shit. And then, what? The, uh, that's the Habo that I thought looked like me. So I that is it. you. Yeah, but with the dress. What are the name tag things? Um, name tags, you can buy name tags, which is like an extension on um, Twitter. So I have the name tag, and I bought Max's one as well for him. Oh, I cool. mint, You minted the name so people can't claim the names anymore. So yeah, I, I own a lot of cats as well, which I, which I bought relatively cheap. Like, I didn't spend mm. much on them. Um... I think one of my, like, Ethereans, I really like these things, so I bought them. Um, that was a, a airdrop for uh, sup ducks, which is cool. So they give you a frog that looks like you duck. But yeah, this is, this is stuff I minted. We're getting to the trash What does minted there. mean? It means you paid to have it the mint of the random generation. Oh. Yeah, I've got this a bunch of a, shitty Pokemon. This is for a gambling website. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, awesome. creature, gauntlets, yeah like. wow. creature world, it's a boss, lo uh, boss logic made infinity gauntlets. Yeah, bought... there's your fucking there's private plots. Plot. Yeah, those are my plots for my lands. Yeah, I paid like 0 0.2 Jesus to Jesus Christ, you bought a whole country. Damn, yeah. you've got a lot of decent offers on this. Yeah, well, they're like 1.8 now, so people offer like under what, and then a bunch of rare Pepe's. So th there's a story behind the Pepe's, which I won't go into, but they're basically like an old group of weirdos made them and like they're just like cool and unique. So a bunch of weird Pepe's. Pepe birth gif. It's bought, I just bought a shit ton of cool stuff. Yeah. That I liked. Oh, there's no fan Pepe. Man, it does just, it just goes on forever. These are kind of cool. You like these? Yeah. It's a weird project that someone put me onto. They're not very expensive. They're actually very cheap, but it's like a collection of a bunch of artists and like, it's the same thing. Just put them all together. I kind of uh, did Jabba that. Forms. Uh, yeah, it's cool. But yeah, that's, that's all. fucking Homer. Holy shit. <laughs> It does look like Homer. Yeah, it like Homer. But yeah, if, well, I ever, if I ever sell something, I'm selling it because I'm buying more. Like, and now I can have a bunch of Twitter profile pics to flex on people. <laughs> That's a lot of people love picks. using them as their profile pics. On oh Twitter. yeah, it's like the new norm. There's so many fucking eight profile pics. Mm. A lot of celebrities are getting them too. Yeah. All right, no more NFTs. I know there's yeah, gonna be some. There's gonna be some listeners that are like, "Man, shut up! I don't have NFTs." Oh, people hate when you talk about it because yeah. they're just like, "It's invested. a scam! It's a scam! I was very it's a scam!" Oh, no, you yet. clearly weren't. Not yet. You're soon to invest. Uh, no, yeah, maybe, maybe. Depends. Depends. If just, I just go on open see if there's something like I buy stuff that looks right. like me. Okay, no. Uh, no, 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 no. What's the next yeah. topic of interest? What are we talking about? What else has happened in the fucking world? New world. <sighs> yeah. Oh yeah, new world. I've been playing a fucking. Do you guys play it? Do you guys play it? I played yeah. a bit. I'm level seventeen. What are you doing, Matt? Are you playing any games? What the fuck are you doing? I've been moving these last two weeks. Oh, that's right. You got a new place. That's right. Well, yeah. you got to. I just don't play games what anymore. What happened here? What on your nose? 
Yeah, what What's happened? It? The fuck? What is it? Oh my god, I'm tripping. Don't worry. The fly <laughs> spray's got to me. <laughs> I thought I saw yeah, before, something. Before we, started, there, before we started this episode, there was... There, there, there's, a, there's a bin uh, in our office that is filled with, with beer and moldy food. And there were a lot of fruit flies around, and there were some on the side. Well, oh, no, so, that's how they're all gone because someone decided to dutch out the place. I still had a couple flying yeah, around me. You kind of, you kind of, yeah. Chad, to the beer. Chad, Chad oh, took yeah, uh, some, some bug spray and gassed everybody here. Now we're seeing funny colors and little people <laughs> in the corners of the rooms. <laughs> it's just, it's just an oh, production. Those are, those are actual that's little people. That's your production. Oh, okay, I'm not tripping. Oh, they, they're real? Okay, I thought yeah. I was hallucinating. Yeah, I've been playing New World. Uh, New yeah. World came out, which is the Bezos game, and Blue and I were fucking playing it together, and we were doing some sleepless nights. What level are you? Uh, 24. 24. Okay, you're pretty far in. What level it's, are you? It's, it's hard. 38. Oh, what the fuck? I just want to no life it, but I can't. <laughs> yeah, it's... I got to the point, I literally hit a wall where I was like, I've been playing this for 12 hours a day for a week straight. I must fix my life. So I put it down and I still log in for a couple hours a day, but it's not a casual game. Did you, um, what level did you get to? 17. 17. Just keep playing. I'm like putting like four or five hours into it like every other day. I'm not like, I, I, it's hard for me to get addicted to a game and to really get invested into it because I just have so much shit I have to do. I'm in a point in my life where I have free time because we just can't really work as much as we I could. I mean, it's locked down. Yeah. We only have like another month before Melbourne is free. Well, Are we're you double jammed? No, we're allowed, we're allowed to hang out with other vaccinated people So now. you're double jammed? Yeah, I went, look, I got my Same sticker. Same here. Uh, yeah, fuck yeah, jab brothers. Yeah, we... <laughs> Wait, we got a sticker? I got a, I got a card. Um, what? You got a card? I got a, I got a full-on card and I have the shit that I they attach to my Apple wallet and, and on my watch. Look. I can just do this, man. We then, are, look at that. I don't like that. That's so weird to me. Yeah. Well, now the can now I come we, in and know, eat? No, not unless you show me a vaccine <laughs> card. <laughs> That's kind of fun. Yeah, dude, I, she told me that I had to set it up through like my government thing. Yeah, and I was like, through I was my like, government. And I was like, I'm not doing that. I'm sorry. That seems just like a Chinese thing to me. Like I'm in fucking communist China. Like <laughs> you need a card to get in. That it just freaks me out. Yeah, it's a bit size. Yeah, it's fucking weird. Let's there, get, hey, let's not get political. Wasn't there a thing in Melbourne where a dude like walked a block with like his girlfriend or something, and the cops like tangled him, put him in handcuffs on the on the ground? I believe, I believe it. And we're, I, and I we're got, like, we're like, you don't have a valid reason to be out. He's like, well, my, I don't have my mask on because I was smoking a cigarette and I, all this I've, shit. I've been exercising. I've been pulled up by cops once, which is really? weird because like I'm in the middle of nowhere and I had my mask like around my neck, middle of the park, no one else around, maybe, like other people like scattered miles away from me. In the middle of the park with my fucking dog, laying on the fucking grass after I just did a big walk. And I'm a big guy, so a walk killed me. He walks up and he looks over me. You got any mask on? I'm like, oh, fuck me. Like, what the fuck? Just put it on. He didn't do anything, but it was like, dude, they're I, really running around. Going, I'd get, I'd get so <laughs> mad. I would get so angry. I'd be like, fuck off. I, I, Will I, you I fucking like leave me that, alone? But fuck I off. I didn't want to end up on a Facebook video getting tackled by a police officer <laughs> oh, as they dude. shoot my dog. You can't, you can't fight. You can't sue them here, can you? You can. Can you? Yeah, there's people that have and won. Shit. Why didn't but, you? Why didn't you just resist? I do want to, my, my, <laughs> why don't you resist? In my, in my head, why don't you I, punch him in the face? In my head, and if like, I go get, for his gun. If I get into a scuffle with a cop in my head, I feel like I'm going to get tased and I have my dog and my dog's going to get shot. I see too many videos on the internet where the cops are scared of a fucking Pomeranian and they shoot it. So I just. I mean, to be fair, Pomeranians are <laughs> fucking awful <dogs. laughs> But yeah, that was like my only encounter and I was in the middle of the park and I was like, what did you, did you just like materialize out of thin air? Like, are they, are they, are they, they had a van? <laughs> fucking, in. fucking Terminator just fucking yeah. came yeah. up through the ground. You got your mask on. I'm like, Put oh, your shit. mask on. Oh, oh shit. All right. Listen. All right. Okay. Sweet. They ruined my afternoon. I just went home. I was like, oh, I'm fucking going outside again. Fuck that. It's not worth it. It's cops so scare me. I'm always on edge when I see a cop. Mm. I'm usually cool with cops who are around. But I do so many illegal things, and even if I'm not doing anything illegal, I still just get on edge around a cop. I'm like, yeah. fuck, I, I feel like that's pretty natural. Fuck, is there a bag of cocaine in my wallet? My wallet's <laughs> at home. Is the wallet in my pocket? I didn't pack it, but it could be. Oh my God, is there cocaine in my system from fucking six months ago? Like, that's how I think. I'm like, oh God, they're going to drug test me or something. I'm scared of them. He's just fucking in the park. I need you to piss in this cup. Would you do it? <laughs> if a cop came up to you and said, put your mask on and piss in this cop right now, you fat fuck, what would you do? Then I would be like, I'd let the dog off and be like, you're free now. Daddy's got to do work. And I'd start killing cops. And I, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm kidding, that. I'm kidding. But if that happened, I'd just be like, 
I would, can I film it and put it on Twitter for likes? Like, yeah, like Twitter hates cops at the moment. I would, yeah. I would, I would be like, all right, but only if you hold the cop, and then I would just piss all over his hands. It would be like, sorry, I'm really bad at aiming. <laughs> uh, Maybe get it down his leg. For the record, I don't hate cops. It no, is a, it is a bit. It's just I, a I hate some cops though. The ones that tackle people for no reason for not wearing a mask. I don't know if that's true though. Could not be true. I don't know, dude. It's just weird. It's like a weird environment to be in Melbourne with the, with the fact that it's like, yeah, show me your card. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you don't have your mask on? You're walking down the street I trying to smell the spring air? I have a problem with the card thing. Yeah, that's where it bro. Like, where it like, it's where it starts, bro. First, it's a card. I like it makes sense. Like two weeks to fly in the curve, <laughs> yeah, Toby. Not, Only another month. It, Only another two months, Toby. It, oh. I, the card thing, It's. It, I just don't have a problem with the card thing. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 makes, it does make sense for people and their yeah. businesses that want, want... And it makes sense. It just still in my head it's so like foreign to me like i'm not against it but yeah. it, to me in my head i'm like it's i'm like a red a, i'm a red-blooded american so. yeah that'd freak you out the most right yeah the whole like yeah you know where's your papers it's just kind of like mm. yeah <sighs> oh, would you rather people have fucking taking covid to the restaurant oh, you're I'd, at? I'd, oh. I'd rather people are fucking free after everyone gets their vax yeah. people are free to do whatever the fuck they want yeah after, but the problem is that not vax. everyone is getting their vax yeah not but not you know, can get well, i just think oh. like you know when you get to the point because they're doing the 80 percent thing here when you get to the point 90 90 is, is gonna is be the full open 90s and full and open? i think we're, i think we're 89 percent first dose as well yeah so like we're the most f first dosed country to scale of how many people yeah. have in the so world now. With the, with the first dose, people get the first dose almost guaranteed to get the second dose. Mm. So, like, once it gets to the point where it's like 90% of the population is fully vaxxed, that should be around the point where herd, community, uh, herd immunity kicks in. And then and then it's like you're not filling up the hospitals, you're not kicking people off the ICU, you, you, like, you get sick, you get mildly ill, maybe some people still get sick, they still die, but you can't, you can't base it off COVID numbers anymore. Mm. I just, in my head, all I think is, is I've got it, like, I, and I, I, I kind of like, they made me get it, I've got it now, I, I did what they told me. I'm protected. Like, I don't give a fuck if someone else coughs on me or anything because if they do get COVID, it suck. But I'm vaccinated. That should protect me from dying. It should be real yeah. yeah, I mean, I hope. They, they've told us it protects us from dying. I'm going to take their word for it. But, you know, I'm vaccinated. I just think, I just think at a point you've done, you've done your duty. Yeah, like, You've done your duty to protect yourself yeah. and the people around you and you shouldn't be inhibited because some people have an objection to it, which I think is their right. I think you have a right to object to it. I yeah. think you have a right not to, not to take the vaccine yeah, if you don't yeah. want to. And if you don't want to take it, you can just good. not go to the places where you're not allowed. Yeah, that, that's fair. If you don't want to take it, like, don't go see Nan kind of thing. Yeah. Like, that's, I mean, but if your Nan's taking it, is she safe? All right, go give your Nan COVID. Let's test to see if this thing works. <laughs> no, I, listen, I've taken it. I'm just like, listen, I've taken it. Just leave me alone now. Stop harassing me, internet. It's in my body. <laughs> That second dose fucked me up, though. Yeah, my oh. second dose was fine because I got an issue with Zeneca. Ah, uh, I got the Pfizer and... <sighs> ah, I was like, man, I'm Did you get sick from your first dose as well? Huh? I no, got, I was fine on my first I got, dose. I got shivers and cold chills on my first. Yeah, I heard it's it's one or the other. You either get first dose or second dose sucks for you. Yeah. Well, what did you get on your second I just like got like mad chills. I was like freezing, and then I like I woke up in the middle of the night, Sweats. like sweating. Yeah, that's, what, that's what I got with my first. But then so maybe my second. The one next day, I woke yeah. up and I was like, Doo -doo. "Blue, blue got his jab, his second Pfizer jab today. How are you feeling? Fine, just a bit achy. Achy. Mm. Oh yeah. no, that's where achy. his dick's about to fall off. <laughs> 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 if your dick falls off, can we put it in the cup and let it grow with the fucking? <laughs> dude, <laughs> dude. Absolutely. Mutant gamer subs, cunt. <laughs> oh, let's mint it. Let's make it an NFT as well. Let's go yeah. full fucking circle. <laughs> But no, nah, it's uh, it's it's gonna be good once we can fucking all do it. Cause like all I want to go into ramen. Oh yeah, food. ramen. That's dude. one. That's the one thing I miss. Like nothing better than eating out at a restaurant. Yep. And then and not having, having to clean the, yeah. or a beer, like oh, that's good. Everyone, yeah, everyone else couldn't wait. They just fucking went to America. They're like, see, see you guys. Yeah, yeah, but they're they're going for an important they're reason. Working, they're working. They're working. They are working. They're not just sitting around jacking off and smoking yeah. weed. They're doing that some of the time. Yeah, I wish I wish I could have gone with them because, but you know, same. We, I got work here, so it was that or no YouTube videos, and I just chose. It's pretty much the here. same here. But in my head, I was like. Well, we, I was like in my head, oh, I don't like to do another month of this. We've done like 300 and something. How, how many days have we been locked down we're, for in total? Uh, we're, we're, I think it's over 250 now, 250, 260, could be close to 300. I'm, I lost count. But uh, we, almost a we've, whole year. We've absolutely smashed the motherfucking record. We're number one in the world. Melbourne is number one in the world for most lockdown city. Which is we get a trophy? Awesome. Can we mint it? It's minted. <laughs> 
<sighs> yeah. How depressing. <laughs> yeah. It's fucking awful. I hate that as well that like every time I hang out with people now, vaccinated people, don't crucify me in it. <laughs> uh, every time I hang out with people or I haven't seen people in ages and we go for a walk or we go to the picnic or whatever we do, the only thing we have now is to talk about is COVID shit. I'm like, oh. yeah. I'm like, can we talk about something else? But then I go, there is nothing to talk about. Because no one's doing anything. So, so no would, would you rather talk about NFTs? But that's been my go-to. Every time I hang out with you guys, I'm just like, what, what have you been up to? Well, I've been locked in my house looking at fucking NFTs. But same thing as last week. <laughs> yeah. Same thing as the week before. This week, I'm into a fucking funny looking koala. Like, it's like <laughs> now, now, now New World Town. Yeah. yeah. Just be grinding now. I yeah. mean, but we used to hang out. We used to have stories like, yeah, I went out with Chad last weekend. Uh, like camping and shit. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. Camping, going on trips. Like, that was like right before COVID too. Yeah. 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 You guys, you fucking, you fucked up the van that, that, that what, it was Matt Watson? Yeah, fucking put and we didn't his, have to pay for anything, insurance. we replaced it, it was fine, they never yeah, called us. We, if never, anything, we made suspected. that van look, we looked, he was we shitting look himself in that yeah. video. Yeah, because he's like my insurance, because he's American, yeah. he's like my insurance, I'm like, listen Matt, you're in a country full of people that don't care about a few scratches on that car. <laughs> it was he's, not a few scratches on the car, he's uh, fucking If anything, I made up. it look better, that van fucking sucked. The side of it, the paint job was fucked up mate. it's spray it's paint he, when i dropped off he, when i dropped <laughs> it off paint, when it? i dropped it off he said oh we have an artist that comes through here and spray paints them and who the fuck is renting camper vans we're gonna drive it up the road like <laughs> we never got any we just been the gang's case and fucking walk it in with white spray paint that's all they do and they just fucking i was gonna get lost no, yeah they, 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 they like tag on the side it's of them it's like, a, it's like it's an actual thing is yeah, it and, straight up just white Paint? No, no, not white spray. It's like art. They put art on the side of the van. Oh, is that to make it not look like shit and to cover up the, the scratch marks? Yeah, exactly. I just gave someone a new canvas, okay? Yeah, yeah. so, you know, <laughs> you, you, you leave with a normal white sprinter van, you fuck it up in transit, and then you're like, fuck and it. And they spray paint an NFT on the side. Or they spray yeah, paint, exactly. they spray paint a naked it. woman. <laughs> Like, there, you know. in, even inside the van, people that just written like shit in the ceiling. Remember when we saw the Coney 2012 yeah. on there? Like, oh my god, that's dated. We, so we saw just a fuck ton of Coney 2012, like serious, like like quotes from Coney 2012. Dude. I was like, man, that van's this old, bro. Mm. If I had if I had a job to be the to be the artist fucking around with the van for detailing, I would uh, put red spray paint all over my hands and then be in the back of the van and like and like <laughs> press like my hand prints like I was fucking like trapped in there. Have you never seen those vans that are covered in art? Uh, like not blue, really. Bring no. up a wicked van. They're, they're, it's like a, it's a common thing in Australia and New Zealand. I saw, it's just I camper saw vans one, covered in. I saw art. one the other day, but it was more like a combi. A what? A combi? I don't know what that means. That's isn't like a really old van. Volkswagen van? Convi? Isn't it? Fried, they're, they're out, fried out combi? Nah, they're, maybe they're not I'm, Volkswagen like, vans. They're just sprinters. They're just like the van that Ryan has, but the fucking the older older ones there. These. Yeah, well, oh, yeah. I've seen one of those, so, except it was like, it was a lot worse. So they're, they're really <laughs> cheap to rent. So what, what fucking hippies do is when they come here to backpack around Australia is they rent one of these. They fuck them up. They have sex in them. They graffiti in them. They get cum everywhere. They just they just shit. But they they're roadworthy. I don't. I think <laughs> wasn't after a I was virgin. If I take it up the shitter, I'm, I'm, still, I'm still, still a virgin. Right. If I take it up the shitter. So yeah, that's what people do on them. Your thighs won't touch if my head's between them. <laughs> oh no, that's a right fan. <laughs> <laughs> it might as well just have free candy here. <laughs> oh, let's go rent one for actually. Let's go rent like that's a really good yeah, video let's idea. Let's go rent a heap for a video. We rent a sprinter van. We spray paint the fuck out of it, and we go around and Melbourne we write, kidnapping we... people. <laughs> All right, what my else? brother. What, okay, let's just switch it up. What are we going to talk about now? Come on, give me something. Oh. Mm. This is the fucking bullshit thing about running a podcast during COVID. There's nothing, yeah, there's nobody nothing has anything to talk about. Talk about. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm envious. You, you, you changed cold ones from a podcast <laughs> to, to, to just, just getting drunk. Just, just getting oh, yeah, drunk. that's because we didn't have anything. Yeah. One, we didn't have anything to talk about. Two, we didn't have any guests. Yeah, we just, you can't get any guests yeah. down here. So we get fucking comments on our YouTube videos like, when the podcast coming back? You mean that the podcast? Do you remember this used to be a podcast? Shut up, fuckhead. Why am I looking at the camera? It's not my channel. <laughs> like, you do, you do, you do. these videos get more views than any of the podcasts. What are you complaining about? I think it's just people like want to be like, man, I was here from the start. Like, yeah, we yeah. get it, bro. You subbed early. Fuck off. People, people also just love shitting on YouTubers. Oh, it's just, just back to the Twitch thing. Oh, they're rich. I hate them. Oh, they're a YouTuber. I fucking hate them. Like, mm. it's like the same thing where like. You tell people you're a YouTuber and they immediately pull to like the worst like 
example like a Sam Pepper public prank. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another epic prank. Today we're filling this whole pool with Jello. So when you say YouTuber, they think that they're like, yeah. oh, so you just like go around squeezing girls' asses for YouTube likes? I'm like, no, so no, no I do no. that for fun. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we just get drunk and throw up on each other. Like, it's just oh, fucking. Hate. I just I hate the internet. You know what? COVID's made me hate the most the internet i don't look at yeah. twitter anymore i don't fucking tweet it is it's pretty fucked up when you're stuck inside and the only way that you can interface socially with anybody besides facetime is through social media because mm. then you're just stuck on it and then the algorithms on social media like facebook or instagram or twitter or whatever they're, they're, they're catered to keep you on the platform yeah you live alone of, don't you Oh uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. That must be that must be a lot harder. Well, I have two cats, which makes it nice. <laughs> and you know, I have I mean, a dog. I, I got fish. Like, like, dude, I I face <laughs> like I FaceTime like my family. Like, like I face I FaceTime my friends like from back home and everything, and that kind of keeps me relatively sane. I see the people who I like, you know, really really enjoy seeing still, but it's fucking it's just mind numbing. Mm. Like, how many times am I gonna wake up, take a shower, work out? eat breakfast, stream for hours, and then smoke weed. Like, there's no, there's it's no good. way it's, to break it's it one up. Of those it's, either, it's either all work or it's like leisure. I, I, when, when the lockdown started, I was like, I can do this. I do this all the time. But I didn't realize I the I'd, exact same thing. I do it like for a week and then I party for like a weekend or two and I'm like, there's my socializing. Like, and then I, but you, you don't get that like, right. that you can't reset. Break, yeah. Yeah. And you just, you're just on some cycle. It's, it's kind of been a weird blessing because I've now lost about 18 kilos in total. Congrats. Congrats. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I went for my walk today. I filled up all my rings. But one thing that I've gotten out of it is socializing with people on walks, which has been really good. Yeah. I walked literally 6.3 kilometers today. Nice. So that was like, wow. And then tomorrow I'm doing a 10K walk with Slazzo. So, hey, nice. so like, that's one thing where I've been like, okay, who's in my five kilometer radius? <laughs> Let's go do a walk. Are you in my five kilometer radius? No, you're like, I think if we met here, maybe? I don't know. But isn't it 10 now? It's 10? It's 10 for it's fully 10. Okay, it's 10 now. How long has it been like that for? It's 15 now. But is she it? not? It's 15? 15? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, I mean, okay, I don't maybe. Know. So now we can hang out. So we're not breaking the law by doing this podcast now. Sweet. Wait, well, we, well, we weren't breaking the law. Oh, no. We all have work permits. We weren't breaking yeah. the law yeah. ever. That was like a, yeah. We're not breaking the law. We, we all said, have our work permits. So don't worry. Gestapo, don't, don't come bust down her fucking door and haul us away. Unless you want I'm to. wearing a mask. <laughs> Look, I'm safe. I'm wearing a mask. It's yeah. all good. There's, um, there's also a new... What are you doing? Oh, there goes your mic. Oh, they've done it. Did you pull that out of your The cock? Gestapo just cut him off and muted him. Can you believe that? Hello? Oh. There we go. Double mask. Fucking... S oh, that's Sorry, not going to fit. That ain't going to fit. Not, you're gonna, my, you're not going to be able to feel anything. The sex is going to suck. triple mask? Oh, here, here we go. There you go. That's that's oh, yeah. be triple mask. That's that's smart. Now anyone can use that mask. <laughs> but yeah, not much, mic. not much longer. And you know, that's the same thing. All our filming went, came to a fucking halt. So we were just, we just had like backlog videos that we've like. There was like a video that we released where like we fucking hated it. It was a. Uh, the font we did like a fondue video yeah so I had one. and i was like and we looked at the f we scrapped the video we have scrapped videos and it was just like a scrap video because i was like it sucks like we don't fucking want it and then um fucking we ended up just re editing and releasing it turned out all right like you know editor worked his magic shout out to prezzo yeah prezzo um and we released it but i still looked at it and i was like man this fucking sucks i can't wait so we can just like it's like it's well, the thing where it's like you're forced to release something subpar for consistency so that like your viewers don't aren't like where the fuck are they yeah exactly the thing with us is that you know misfits doesn't really have a backlog of content we were getting back we were getting back into content <laughs> creation and um and like making videos we had a bunch of video ideas that we were ready to do that hinged on melbourne being open well you guys filmed the three videos you guys did when you saw open you did the the christmas skiing one that's when we were open yep and then you guys did the fishing trip because those yeah, went those are the fishing trip the, and, we then, and then the, the challenge one those were all periods where everything was open yeah yes. and as well as that like it's not only oh you can film videos inside it's like well no you can't because we have video ideas we want to do but the shit we can't get because nothing's open yeah yeah we ordered yesterday, something that never arrived yesterday my uh my bathroom back i mean my toilet backed up 
and I could not find anywhere that actually let you go into the store to buy a plunger. Yeah, it's nowhere. Like, yeah, has, you got to order online. Like, it's oh, so yeah. fucking hard to. Like, as soon as you need something that isn't at like a supermarket, you're fucked. And you then, have to wait. For I was shoe shopping shipping. for my first time online the other day. You're like, gonna get them, and they're not gonna fit. That's yeah. what I mean. Like shit like that, even you know. Uh, people, Can you? People, oh, people will be like, oh, you can just order in advance online so it comes in time. There is a picture of Australia Post right now where all their warehouses are yeah, full because I think it's coming in time. I've been waiting for fake guns for a video for about two months now. And they'll cut, they come from Australia. They're Australian ship. Yeah. But now there's like, blue, bring up that picture. I love having this power. What the fuck? The Australia Post fucking They ba basically, someone, someone was sick of not yep, getting their look packages. That. Yeah, oh. someone was sick of not getting their packages. They're like, I'm going to break in the warehouse and find them. And then they got to this, and it's just lit holy yeah. shit. That's undelivered mail. What the fuck? Ah, uh, look at him. He's looking. He's like, yeah, fuck you guys. <laughs> it's like, it's <laughs> only like one neighborhood too. Apparently, uh, just in Victoria, Ozpost has two hundred employees that are in uh, that have to isolate right now. Holy shit! That's why they're so behind. They just have no employees. Yes, because if one and warehouse everyone's worker, ordering. Yeah, if one oh, warehouse worker fucked, gets yeah. COVID, they all have to fucking like uh, isolate. And it's not even just one person gets it if one person is connected to someone that has it so we were meant to film something because we're allowed to film in a small group because we you know vaccinated and all our work permits <laughs> fucking mate he didn't have to but we you know we're following precautions i don't want fucking COVID, obviously yeah. <laughs> mate that he goes running with his extended friend got COVID and, and like two down the line and hung out with him and he was just like i'm gonna go take a test and isolate for a week just to be safe so we couldn't film because of it yeah so. There's a lot of there's a lot of shit. There's a lot you know, of fucking and... things you got to put into play when doing stuff. But then everyone just looks to like LA YouTubers where they're just like completely open. Yeah, well they were throwing fucking parties yeah. through, the, through the worst of the pandemic, yeah. and it was like, hey, it's okay. Yeah, so they city, look, they look at them a, and they go, "City had to fucking shut off their water and their power to stop them from to stop partying. them from fucking partying their mansion." So that, like everyone looks at like the YouTubers that are in like LA and doing all their group projects and like, bro, we're not there. We're in. Yeah. We're not there at all. Yeah. We're in a country that's trying to fix like a problem they made by not vaccinating people on time. Yeah. And and th that's the thing. Like you stream and fucking every five minutes, someone's like, so what's the, when's the next Misfits video? When's the next when Misfits vlog? Yeah. You know, how are all the like, boys do you doing? It's like, what's happening it's like here? Dude, yeah. we don't have fucking freedom right now. Mm. We haven't had freedom for like a year. Yeah. Like solid bout of freedom. Even when we were going to film something, when we were going to go up to the snow. Yeah, we get there. The, the, we get there the fucking day. And then it's like, oh, hey, press conference, by the way. Yeah, no, we're locking down again. It's like, well, great. We can't get so on the slopes. We had to fucking sit inside a cabin. I mean, the, it's not that bad. We well, was, but we couldn't was, do anything. It was nice, but there was nothing to do. Yeah, we, we couldn't, couldn't go on the slopes. Anything. We couldn't yeah. film. So we were stuck up on the slopes, fucking drinking ourselves to death in front of a pie place. What are we playing? We're playing... Uh, there's chest and we're playing what was i get mafia yeah we're playing blue mafia. until we until we could go back down the slopes because we didn't know like can we leave do we have to you stay really here know if we could uh, have left the mountain but the thing is you know you, just, you you can't fucking plan for anything yeah it just how you can't prepare for anything and you can't and you can't like you can't go you can't travel you you can't fulfill any video ideas and the last thing that i think anybody wants to do uh, especially if they have like a group channel or anything, they don't want to like make uh, YouTubery subpar content. Yeah, they and don't want to make shit that they don't feel proud of. And as well as that, you don't want to have in the back of your head when you're doing it like all these fears of like, oh, well, there's so many like restrictions in place now too, where like there's stuff that you might want to do. Even when everything opens back up, there's gonna be so many restrictions in place, and you don't want to have the anxiety of all those restrictions getting in the way while doing it it's just a bad mindset so there's just like so much shit that comes into play like the things that we could have done if we could go someone this year like we had this idea we're like we're gonna go to japan and we're gonna fucking film like a drinking series in japan where we go to like and we, we experience drinking cultures in every other country we're gonna go to oktoberfest and like all this stuff we had this big list of like travel ideas written down because we wanted to make this big, like, like three month travel series and release mm -hmm. it over six months, and it just never happened. No, because yeah, it couldn't. Because so mm -hmm. it was fucking impossible, mm -hmm. you know. But I guess we both fell off. Yeah, we yeah. all fell off. We, we all fell off. We, we all literally <laughs> fell off. On a lighter note, though, we're all still sexy and young, and you know, COVID mm. will end soon. Mm. Yeah, mm. we are gonna live forever. Mm. Actually, now that I think about it, this, is probably COVID would have been the best, like, healthiest years of my life now that I'm, like, bordering late 20s mode. Oh, no. <laughs> COVID ruined my <laughs> life. <laughs> I'm unfit. No, I'm getting healthy. I'm getting healthy. I'm getting healthy. 
How are you guys with your health? You guys good? Good, man. Working out. Yeah. Been working out like the last three months. Yeah. You got you moving houses at the moment. You're allowed to tell people that. Yeah. Yeah. Got my gym set up today. Yeah. For a podcast. So. You just Hell moved yeah. as well, right? Yep. Yeah. I get a lot of Snapchats from you and the girlfriend with the dog. And... Yeah. She, uh, he looks like Bella. Yeah. yeah. I, every time, I, every time I sit, I'm like, oh, it's Bella. Because yeah. it looks so alike. Except yeah. Bella's more of a spaz. Yeah. Well, well she's a French bull pug. Yeah. And you moved in with your girlfriend, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Everyone moved into nice houses and. I mean, I guess you kind of had to with all the lockdowns. You wanted to be somewhere nice, right? Yeah, I just oh, wanted, to, yeah. I wanted to be somewhere close to, like, the majority of people. Because I was living, like, way up north. I, I mainly did so I see everyone here and do the podcasts and stuff. You seem a yeah. lot healthier and happier now that you've been with the girlfriend and stuff yeah. like that in the house. Yeah, not, not lot, at home. a lot nicer. Yeah, a bit of a breath of fresh air away what's from it, everything what's it like living on your own with you with your girl like just being self-sufficient and yeah hey, don't, don't give him self-sufficient tyler he always puts up stories of his girlfriend cooking for him yeah nah, wow. I'm already, I, I, have I, you I've seen this guy have cook? you seen this guy cook on his live streams the fuck you chad i'm about to fucking flex on you right now I, do, oh. I, do, I, do, I, right. I mean i have showing everyone this picture he's like now. i cooked one meal i must show everyone a photo of it <laughs> Oh, that's yeah, that's see. good. Let me see. <laughs> How many of those have you cooked, Mason? Like five. Oh, okay. Oh, that's not bad at all. Yeah. yeah. Oh, not bad. I was just I've waiting. I was more. just waiting to see a bowl of Kraft macaroni and cheese. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was, oh, with like <laughs> a, some spinach. Yeah, right. Just oh, a fucking two noodles. Just a, a two, like, two minute noodle packet broken up <laughs> with with the shit on top. <laughs> what what what's like the one hobby you guys all picked up in lockdown? Like the any weird hobbies? Just gaming again for me. Gaming. Just like gaming my spare time. Yeah. Dude, gaming. <sighs> really gaming just gaming maybe art a bit of art here and there painting you were using the vr art right? yeah, yeah yeah dude there's this vr game called vermilion which is a wet on wet oil based uh simulator it legitimately simulates wet on wet oil painting technique when you told me about it, i went and looked up a bunch of videos it's fucking really sick and i was just like doing streams for a bit where i was just painting just just doing like little That's landscapes cool. or doing like impressionist or doing like really abstract shit putting on different music like calm piano and making landscape or like if i'm doing an abstract I'd be like what do you want me to paint and this would be like alzheimer's You'd be like all right and put on some really <laughs> fucked up music and just you know dry dry some shit and it, it's good and like art art's always been something for me that i feel like i've been like i have like a natural affinity to like really yeah. enjoy it uh, which is why I really liked editing. I think the idea of art is being like just liking it, and that's where like inspiration well, you know, comes you just, from. Yeah, you know, you just do your yeah. do your thing, creating, yeah. literally about, making something. What about you, Matt? What have you been doing? Um, not any new hobbies, just like honing my editing skills and just yeah. getting more in depth with it. Like you, recently, when I we went and looked at that property, you, you I, I didn't, I haven't seen it yet, but you big fuck off drone. Did you get a drone license? Yeah, yeah. He's got a fucking like. Yeah, looks like dude, one of the robot that's the dogs. Hobby. <laughs> that's the hobby. That's the battlefield. He's got. He's literally hanging something you strap like fucking 50 pounds of c42 and fly it into a <laughs> building it's fucking crazy you could put you could literally you could literally lift a machine gun with it too okay don't oh. get any ideas american matt's uploaded a There's video no now as well he's like yeah. he's like that's how we bring back school shootings the ki the weird kid gets a drone with a gun just shoots up all the houses <laughs> That's, oh, actually, that's that's genius. That is genius. Haven't, yeah. haven't you seen this? He story. released a new vlog recently. It was really good. Yeah. Who did? Matt. Matt. What Wait, vlog? Did you even watch it? Oh. No, I, okay. Well, remember, when, remember when I said I stopped looking at everything? Yeah. yeah. That, I, I literally everything. stopped watching YouTube videos. Don't look at the Twitter, like any of that but shit. No, yeah, I, the only thing I watch is like I go on YouTube to like like how to build this IKEA furniture or. Why, why the fuck are you googling how to build an IKEA furniture? It comes I'll with get, instructions. I'll get to that in a second. What about you? Nothing. I've Nothing. Been spending time with my girlfriend, really. You've been streaming a lot, though. Yeah. That, yeah. I have watched your stream actually. Only when you play League. Though. Hey man, thanks I for the League. birthday wish, man. Oh no, yeah, I came to your stream so for your nice. birthday and too. Swags as well. Yeah, you. Fuck you. No, I'm kidding. No, <laughs> <laughs> no that was well, nice. I felt bad because I hadn't spoken to you in so long, and I felt bad. And I was like. Just give him money. Yeah, money. That'll fix yeah. everything for no, being a bad that friend. That was so nice. It got me so hyped at the end. Like, you could have bought an NFT with him. I was so <sighs> gassed. And now he gave him an NFT, NFT man. Yeah. I would have if he had a MetaMask set up. <laughs> That'll be the future of donations. Someone donated a fucking... It, that a happen. board eight. Whoa. Board eight. Whoa. <laughs> Shows Thanks. up on a little screen behind you when yeah. you stream. Oh, yeah. that's an idea. Yeah, I'm a multi... Someone write it down. We need... To, we, everyone on Spotify right now, you need to sign an NFT. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've done gardening. Yeah. I have a weird theory in my head and hear me out. Mm -hmm. Farming and agriculture and doing it to big plots of land kills the land. You can only do it for so many years before it dies. Yeah. What do you mean? 
you can only f- f- plow and farm a land for so many years. It takes like the nutrients out of the soil. Yeah, but that's why they have a crop rotation. Yeah, well, it's still over the time the crop because of increase in population, the crops keep needing it, it ruins land. Like it's yeah, so, yeah, I won't argue that. Do you know you only need a space the size of this room to grow enough fruit and vegetable for yourself for your whole life with an aeroponic garden? Which oh, aeroponics? Google aeroponic garden and bring it up <laughs> on screen. It's a garden. It's like hanging. This it shit grows or? vertically. And it has no soil. It grows in coconut husks and the roots go into the water. And the water is on a cycle three days. It, it cycles the water through it and it grows it. So I've got three of these. I'll take a photo. I'll send the group chat and I've got three of these aeroponic gardens. I've just started growing all my own fruit and vegetables. What, what are you growing? Um, so the only thing you can't grow on are like carrots and turnips because they need soil to be can you grow? Can you grow cannabis? You can grow weed in them, yeah. That's actually like a pretty normal thing that people do with it. That's an Holy shit! Garden. That's kind of cool. So I have uh, mine are about half this size, and I got three of them. And this is actually the company. Can, can that you sells just them. can you just you just buy them? You can buy like them. That? And you can make them. It's just PVC pipe. Well, I don't know. And, I'm not yeah, gonna fucking make it. It's pretty easy to make. Um, so I made one of mine and I bought two of mine. So what are you? So oh, what are you? So what are you, are you growing? Um, so like I've got lettuce, tomatoes. I've got like uh, jalapenos growing in some of them. I've got all my herbs and spices growing in them, and I've got kale growing in them as well. And like if I need anything, I just go out and grab it from the garden now. Like I stopped buying the only Damn, vegetables I buy is stuff I don't grow. You don't have to walk to the AGA. Do no, you, the, do you? the concept in my head is. We're killing the planet by buying because fruit yeah. and vegetables are in such a high demand. But you, with an aeroponic system, you can grow it yourself. So my idea is, if I, I'm fucking dumb and disabled, like I'm retarded, yeah. So if I can do it, like that should like a normal. What's the normal thing to have in your house? What's something you have to have in your house? A isn't chair. It? A chair. It should be like having like a. It should be like having a toilet. Every or a water tank. A water a a water chair. tank. Yeah, people in third world countries <laughs> don't have that shit. Come on. Well, man. I mean, that's a third world country. We're comparing it to where we hey, live now. Hey, third world countries have. A line of mosquito they have real nets. gardens. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, Wait, so nets. I've never seen one. Huh? Is it it's, outside? it's outside. It's outside. Okay. You can get lights from over the top that use like two cents of electricity a day. So wait, you need light. It needs to be. Constantly it needs to be light. out in the sun, but like yeah, it's yeah. just like anything. But yeah, I just figured it should be like having a. You should. I feel like every apartment and house should have a water tank, and they should have a garden. You should like, grow mushrooms. I've got. I'm growing mushrooms. Like, I have, like oyster, oyster. Yeah, I have oyster mushrooms. You remember those mushroom yeah, boxes? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I got a heap of those. Fuck yeah! And I learned how to cultivate mushrooms, which was actually really hard. It's re- no, it's really simple. No, it's not. It took me like a month. Yeah, you, you have to inoculate it. You, you got to be, get the spores. You got to yeah, scrape yeah, them. You the spores. It's you so get... hard. Really? It was. I mean. I'm retarded, remember? So well, you just fucked it up a lot? You like, uh, well, if you, if you contaminate the spores, they the, won't grow. Exactly. But it's just, you, need a, you, need like, you need like surgical equipment. You need like, yeah, a, like yeah, straight you, up you know, you syringes. Need, you, need ra- you need razor blades and you need syringes. rubbing alcohol. So I managed to cultivate my own, but I have a bunch of the mushroom boxes as well. That's sick. So my little yard out in my balcony is just all like plants now. That's so cool. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Good. That was my hobby. I went crazy. That I was, was like way the... more interesting than what any of us probably hey, have. <laughs> I went crazy. I literally got to a point during lockdown. I was like, the government is doing. There's something going on. Like I was I'm going insane. Garden. <laughs> I was like, I was like, I need to figure out how to go off grid. I was like, so I went. Go I, off I've, the I'm, grid I've enrolled in an for agricultural classes. Like <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go to uni next year and do like agricultural classes. And like I was like googling everything. I was doing research online. I went fucking nuts. Yeah, on there's it. nothing more off the grid than going to uni. I mean, like, no, I want to, like, eventually, eventually when the world ends. Eventually, when the world ends? Yeah, a little tiny home, New Zealand. Yeah. Oh, that sounds nice. Some gardening, a couple dogs. Ah, shit, if the world ended, I don't know if I'd go to New Zealand. Why not? I mean, it would probably be the best place to be, right? Nuclear free. Have you been there? Yeah. Really? Yeah. You don't want to go to New Zealand? Well, it was I, don't, Auckland. I don't know why I you mean, left. It was, it was he Auckland. Went, he went to Auckland. Went to Auckland. Auckland. Oh, that's like Melbourne, but shitter. Yeah, we saw, we, I mean, we saw, like, the really pretty shit. We went, like, an hour out of Auckland. Mm. I wouldn't mind, like... Maybe like setting up like near the sulfuric acid pits in what Rotorua? <laughs> Rotorua. Yeah, we went to Queenstown, which was yeah. so Down, beautiful. The South Island is better than the North Island. It was so beautiful, Shit. and I was and like property there was cheap. I'm like, I could just get a fucking farm, delete all my t- social media, grow plants, and just that's, jack that, myself off. Just hang that, up your NFTs. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's certainly like a long, a long term like retirement plan for me would be to go to like. 
get a property in Wyoming or like Montana, mm. like a big fucking fuck off ranch. Well, just buy a bunch of guns. America has every like climate because it's so big. So anywhere you choose, you could probably find a New Zealand in there somewhere. So you can. I'll let you have. Yeah, I'll well, let my, you have America. My, Montana is pretty pretty close. They have beautiful like mountain lakes and waterfalls and very, guns. And guns. I, oh I'm guns. stunning. Also, the government has made me believe dude, that everyone should have guns. It's, it's, dude, it's the most. It's the most. It was the most upsetting because, like, I do have, like, FOMO with all of them being in America, although I'm understanding. But the biggest thing that pissed me off that made me be like, wow, these fucking assholes the was range. when they were at the shooting range. Because <laughs> I've been saying for fucking months, if not years, I really want to go to a shooting range. But there's none. There's none in fucking Australia. No, we have shooting ranges Yeah, but they're, tw- they're 22 plankers and they're they, fucking they have, bolted to the table. That No, they have actual shooting ranges. Do they? Yeah. yeah. I mean, they're still bolted the to the table. Then why didn't anyone tell me? I have told you before. Wait, but are they bolted and chained to the table? They're probably bolted to the table, no, but bullshit. they're actual if guns. You have, if you have a gun license, you can go to some range. Well, I don't know if I have, I have a gun license. Just go get it. <laughs> Yo, yeah, how? I don't know. Fucking know. Just, just, meet, Google. just Google. befriend a farmer. All farmers have guns. I hate yeah. gang. Yeah, I'll shoot the foxes for ya. <laughs> if you went yeah. onto a farm and said, hey, I'm here to shoot your foxes, the farm would fucking give you every gun in their safe. Dude, oh man, I know where I'm going. And most farmers have lots of guns. Yeah. Because what the fuck else are you going to do out there? Yeah, you're bored shitless. You start shooting the wildlife. Dude, I, I fell down <laughs> this rabbit hole because I'm fucking all over YouTube. I have nothing to do. I, I'm, I'm, I fucking went on this rabbit hole on YouTube with these people, these Australian guys out in like Northern Territory or whatever. It's like desert or whatever. They have a fucking massive wild hog problem. So these guys are driving in jeeps and on motorbikes, and they have these twelve gauge shotguns, and they're fucking just shooting these we hogs. Used to call it pigging. Sh- pigging. Pigging. Yeah. So no, no, pegging. <laughs> no, p- pigging. <laughs> My hometown used to have the problem too. And what they do is they get in their fucking like Land Cruisers, their massive the forward drive. They get like specifically trained dogs to get the pigs. So what they do is they drive up behind them because the pigs are fast. They shoot them to wound them, and then the dogs pin them down and, like, wrestle in the ground. You come slit their throats. Slit their throat? Yeah. Shit. I've never done it, because that sounds barbaric and smells bad, but... Yeah. Every, yeah. every person I went to school with that went pigging, they'd always come to school the next day just stinking. I was like, Ugh. Dude, I'd love to do that. I'd love to just fucking hold out, like, the side with a shotgun and just shoot fucking feral pigs. I'm sure. See the ones I'm with sure. These, like, night vision goggles. Dude, and yeah, they're like, fucking every, There's like shit. no rules for killing. Like, in New yeah, anything. well, in, in Texas, it's awesome. it's, in Texas, they make uh, a, a point to do like a because they're like, oh, well, we have all these invasive fucking hogs that are tearing up our, our ecosystem and ruining everything, and destroying crops, and then it's like, oh, well. We'll just get all the fucking rich Yankees up north to fucking come down and like, yeah, fly in this helicopter and shoot them with all this whole arsenal of guns. Well, in New Zealand, they heck, they get in helicopters yeah. and shoot fucking uh, yeah. the deer that were introduced to the country that are pests now. There's mm-hmm. there's deer introduced in New Zealand. Yeah, well, how the fuck did that happen? Deer. Same here. We have we have uh, deer that were introduced into Melbourne and they got out of like a, a a property and they've bred and now they're a pest too. For people listening, when we talk about killing animals, these are animals in Australia that were introduced like fox. They're invasive. And, yeah, and they they fuck up the wildlife. Like so, the, like, the, like you know the, the rats. You know they they hide in the crates of ships mm-hmm. or like you know the deers. They you know sometimes people flying over overseas will have them on carry on. You know, and bring them into the country. It's mm. pretty fucked up. And they ruin for every pig you kill, you probably save ca- like eight kangaroos' lives or what? I don't know what what wildlife we're trying to protect because it seems like we kill them all. But it's they fuck up. The horses are, are now a big pest in Australia because they fuck horses, them. wild horses. They trample and camels as well. They trample the wetlands. Yeah, oh, the, ca- the camels mm. especially are apparently a big pain in the yeah. ass. They have to call them. Yeah, they they legit or they import them. Australia is the biggest import in the world for camels. Huh. Import, no. you mean export? Export, sorry, export. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, I don't think they Australia want any more. The yeah, that's weird, right? I, well, I can get it. I understand, like, why they were like, oh yeah, we should fucking probably have a couple of camels here because it was desert, desert, and now like, it's just like, fucked oh, everything yeah, up. These horses keep drinking all this water, and we kind of want it more. Let's just get these camels. What's the worst that can happen? Well, there was another thing. Uh, cane toads were introduced because oh meant, yeah, cane toads. That's like one of the worst ones. They were brought here because I meant to eat all the insects that ate the sugar cane. And they ended up digging underneath the roots of the sugar cane. And just though. fucking destroyed And they realized, oh, we can just put pesticides on fucking sugar cane. And then that too late now. All well, the they have this shit with, with cane toes up in Queensland where it's like, if you see one, you're, you're obligated to kill it. It's no, like you're people... not allowed to do that anymore. Really? 
Uh, Why? Cane toads are now an Australian icon because their football teams have them as their logos. What? So you can kill them, but you have to capture them, freeze them, and then put them. But no one does that. People fucking. I thought stuff. people. I thought people <laughs> didn't like. I heard. I swear to God, I heard from people. They like legit Australians up in Queensland where they would go out into the bush with their friends when they were like ten oh, years yeah, old. Oh yeah, we used to that all the time with, with golf clubs, and yeah. they would just fucking you know. We, fuck, yeah, you know, all the go, time. You know, it's four. illegal. Four. It's illegal now. We used That's to, bullshit. We, it's a fraud. we used to fucking get um, it's a taste fucking from um, killing them first, like mate. two by Jesus. four planks and fucking slug them. Or we used to get a BB gun and shoot them in the head, and they'd expand when you shot them in the head. So it was funny. And then we'd tie their legs up with wire. And you know how you do the shoes over the fucking like wires? <laughs> yeah. we, used to, we used to do that with fucking cane toads. We'd kill them, wire them, and fucking throw them over the power lines. And there'd be cane toads hanging down. But they, you get like metal wire and then you see yeah. them. Yeah, yeah. You fuck it, they roast them. It's fucking funny. It was so funny. <laughs> That's been the Misfits podcast. No, no, no. I mean, it should be. We can end it here. Man, yeah. they're gonna think I was that psycho kid that fucking like <laughs> burnt, burnt, burnt the hands with mango. Yeah, everyone flash. did it. Don't think I'm a psycho. Uh, you I mean, the cane toad thing. You were, you were taught as a kid to kill cane toads, and you hated them. They, well, they if were they're a pest, bro, it's fine, man. Yeah. We killed some carp. Just like we carp. Some carp. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? You were fucking carp stomping a fish last <laughs> month. <laughs> <laughs> it was a couple of months ago. It was a long. It was. It was it was, it was, I'm the psycho. Yeah, it was park. a long time ago. And it, look, it was a stop the, the first time, but after that, I cleaned up my act. We got a boomerang. It was a lot, it was a lot cleaner and it was a lot more efficient. Oh, you got a potato gun too at one point? Just yeah, well, the body was yeah, just yeah. completely the, gone. The potato gun Sorry. was pretty painless. So is a fucking two by four to the head and shooting them in the head too. Yeah, I just, well, I, just, I don't know I, if a baby gun to the head would not kill instant them. kill them to the brain. Well, I just, uh, I, just yeah. I just, I just, I'm just questioning. Like, you know, I killed the carp and then I cut it up for bait. But you know, I, it's not like I killed two carp and then tied them up with <laughs> metal wire and threw them over. A, you could do that with catfish wire. whiskers. Yeah, yeah. You, it's not. It's, it's not. They're already dead. Might as well make it funny. That's a great point. Yeah. Wait, didn't they cancel <laughs> Logan Paul for tasering dead rats? Yeah. No, it was Jake. <laughs> Jake Paul? No, it's Logan. Around. Was it Logan? Oh, it's one of them. They looked. They both. Hey, it doesn't matter. <laughs> that guy made a serious lapse in judgment. We shouldn't. We shouldn't. We shouldn't. <laughs> okay, be that's in true. Bullshitting. Uh, well, but, thank, you know, thanks for you having know. me on. I don't know. Like next thanks time you find a, yeah. next time you find a toad, you just like kill it and then blow it up into a little balloon like Shrek did and Shrek okay, won. Wait, and you can do. No, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, thanks for the Misfits podcast. Thanks, thanks, thanks for coming on. I think you did a good job filling in for Fitz. I hope I did. We got to talk about NFTs. We got to talk about lockdown. We got to talk about the Twitch leaks. We got to talk about gambling. Oh, I love gambling. One more thing on the Twitch thing. I mm -hmm. feel bad for the streamers right now because they're like joking about it. They're like, oh, funny. Look at my number. But it's like, I feel like they're, they're like the woman at the workplace that gets sexually assaulted. But she's too sexually harassed, or sexually harassed. But she's too afraid to say something because she'll lose her job. Because the second that one of these Twitch streamers complains or like tries to sue them, they just get banned off the website, right? Well, did actually see literally like tweet, hey, yeah, Twitch, yeah, with, uh, with the fuck explain. Yeah, but I feel like I feel like if someone filed a lawsuit against Twitch for what happened, they'd just be like, all right, ban, retard. Be like, all right, well, I'm gonna go to YouTube. Yeah, you know, that's yeah. probably what would happen. So that's how I feel like streamers feel right like now. Like the the woman at the office getting sexually harassed, and they just can't say anything because they'll get so they have to. Just about it like oh, Jim slaps my ass every morning it's funny <laughs> I think I think they're only I I mean the when it comes to the to the payout like I don't think they would have been that pissed because it was all pretty public to begin mm. with but I think if there was a leak that was like their personal information like their addresses or something then you would see mm. the then you would see the license well passwords were leaked the hashes Right, it was just the hashes. Oh, and the hash. I'm pretty sure it was their actual password. Yeah, everyone oh, changed their passwords. Oh. So, oh, maybe I change, change your passwords. Yeah, yeah, everyone said change your passwords. Your, yeah. your wives. Change your two factor. <laughs> Thanks for having me on. I'm gay. Bye. Bye. Bye.